Hi, I'm Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. Today, I wanted to discuss the follow-up to the foodie beauty uh, Chantal Marie uh, drama with Charlie Gold. So the first one I titled uh, a rambling letter to Chantal because that's really what it was. I didn't make a lot of coherent points and I kind of wanted to talk a little bit about her apology, quote unquote. Um, so the original apology that she made, the one that she you know, made a note about in her community section, um, that was an apology for calling Charlie Gold, Charlie Cole. Now, I, in my original video, I talked about how, you know, it was a little bit of a reach and I don't think Chantal meant anything by it, but that doesn't excuse her behavior. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. She should have made that connection before it came out of her mouth. Either way, I don't think that was like her big sin or whatever you want to call it, right? Um, but she apologized for that. Great. Good on you for apologizing for one thing. But you didn't apologize for saying that Charlie Gold looked like a criminal. What's up with that? How does she look like a criminal? What, What is it about Charlie Gold that makes her look like a criminal? right? Never, didn't apologize for that. Didn't apologize for threatening to dox Charlie's family. Um, didn't apologize for threatening to run Charlie over with her walker. And I, I get that was like a little bit of a joke, quote unquote, but still the fact that you said it in context of, you know, sending her back to the slammer and all this and all that, that, that should have been in there. Um, and she you know, wants to, after all of that's done, by the way, she still kept trying to pretend that she's above it all, you know? She kept saying, you know, I don't want to talk about it anymore. I don't want any of this ugliness on my channel, you know, and I'll never talk about it again, which we know it's a lie. Chantal is a notorious flip-flopper. But, you know, she talks a lot about how she doesn't want to ever be the kind of person who lobbies insults at people. Well, you can't say what you said and then say, well, I'm above all of this. I would never say that, you know. It's <laughs> it's like when someone says, well, I think she looks like a horse face asshole. But I mean, that's just what other people have said to me. I personally would never think that, you know. That's the kind of air it strikes. After posting this original apology, she had two edits that she made. Um, if there was a third one, I, I might have missed it. Um, I have other things <laughs> outside of following are girls, um, so I might have missed it. But as far as I know, there's two edits that she made after it. The first edit was just justifying her opinion. That's all it really was, you know, uh, saying, well, you can't say mean things to her. Well, I can't say mean things to her when she says mean things to me. How is that fair? You know, like equating what her behavior was and what Charlie Gold's behavior was. Um, and, you know, made a comment on, uh, she made like a comment on like a black woman's mouth and lips, but somehow didn't make the cognitive leap that that was racism. Really? You didn't, you didn't make that, that cognitive leap? It didn't occur to you that that's something that would come off as incredibly racist? Girl, what? <laughs> I'm genuinely befuddled. What are you talking about? How could you not think that? Anyway, so th th those are basically her two edits, right? I'll, I'll throw the pictures up on the screen so you guys can take a look and read for yourself. But it, there was nothing else really to it. It was just basically her saying, well, yeah, I made the apology, but really she's just as bad as I am. Really, she's worse if you think about it. That's kind of the air that it gave me. That Those weren't her exact words, though. You can read it and make up your mind. The next was that she struck Charlie Gold's channel. <laughs> Um, kind of undercuts her apology, I would think. Um, so my takeaway from that that whole thing was, first, I, I don't think Chantal understands what fair use is. There are entire channels dedicated to making like compilations, parodies, they're all considered fair use. They don't have a single spoken word in them. Heck, I've seen videos that have the entirety of uh, a creator's video uploaded, which is like little texts showing up all over the screen. That's still considered to be fair use. So I don't think Chantal understands. Now I'll throw a picture up of the email that the, uh, was forwarded to Charlie Gold as well for the reasons that Chantal gave after YouTube automatically denied her claim uh, for why Chantal thinks that they're wrong and why they should reconsider. Um, the email also gets forwarded to Charlie Gold. And so Charlie Gold put it up on the internet, which I think was really interesting. But um, from reading those points, first of all, points one and two are the exact, sorry, one and four are the exact same. Those are the, they're the same points. You made the same points. 
man, there's no reason to restate that. Um, third is the third point is very debatable, right? Like in my in my opinion. And the second is not for her to decide. Fair use is not a concept that Chantal gets to decide. It doesn't matter what she thinks fair use is. What matters is what the legal definition and what YouTube's definition of fair use is. All of this leads me to believe that this is a non-apology. It's not really authentic. It's not sincere. Um, and one of the reasons is something that I read recently where it said that um, we are responsive to each other's energy. Apologies given in anger or frustration are often met with the same emotional tone and response. Sorry, I have my little notes down here. Um, and that really resonated with me, especially for this, because I don't think Chantal wants to be giving this apology. I think in her head, she thinks she's not racist and then everything she, sh she said is justified because Charlie Gold is also mean to her. So then why shouldn't she get to be mean to Charlie Gold as well, right? And I think that's why... Uh, she's it, she's very upset over giving this apology. She feels like she's over a barrel. And you can tell that when you are actually listening to her and, you know, well, reading her tone in her messages. And the other thing is that when you give an apology and nothing changes, it's hard to believe that the person is being sincere, quite frankly. This isn't the first time that Chantal's had to apologize for something. I think the most um, infamous one is the Fatty Gold account, where she supported Fatty Gold, who is a racist. There is no ifs, ands, or buts about it. And, uh, and then said, well, I didn't know that, that she was a racist, even though even after it was pointed out to Chantal that, hey, this person's a racist. Chantel continued to support them, continued to, t I think it was like in her live stream or something, Chantel was in her live stream. So that, that really does paint a very negative picture of you. So if you don't want people to think that you're a racist, you've apologized for things that you might have inadvertently done before, but then you go back to doing those things, it's very hard to take what you're saying seriously. It's very hard to take your apology at face value. Furthermore, all the apologies that Chantel makes are all conditional. There are a hundred percent conditional apologies. Everything that she says, it has a qualifier to it. Well, even though Charlie Gold is mean to me, I don't want to be mean, you know? Uh, or how come it's fine for them to say this, but not for me to say this? Or I understand that might have been, you know, problematic, but I didn't mean it in a problematic way. So everything has a qualifier in front of it. There's an excuse, give or take, for everything that she said, which also makes her apology seem very, very disingenuous. And I think the thing that Chantal doesn't understand is, is that sorry isn't a magic word. You can't just say sorry and then all of a sudden you're forgiven. Everything is fine now. People totally know that you weren't being racist. People totally get where you're coming from. That's not how sorry works. You have to earn the sorry. You can say, I'm sorry, but then people are going to take some time to reconcile your words with your actions moving forward. And the problem with Chantel is that she cycles very, very rapidly. She says something reactionary and incendiary, and then she's immediately sorry for it. But then she goes back to doing the same thing, um, you know, one month, two months, three months later. And that's why it's very, very hard for us to believe that Chantel is being serious and genuine. And people need time to process these things, you know? That's just how the human brain works. Even if she's completely serious about it, she never says anything problematic of this sort again, it's still gonna take people time to believe her because we don't know what's going on inside of her head. We don't know what's going on inside of her heart. All we have to go on is Chantal's words, especially if a person has been on the receiving end of racism before, it can be hard to believe a person when they're apologizing for racist behaviors and actions. The other thing that really seems to upset her is that people are asking for clarification. So like I did in the beginning where I said, what about when you said that she looked like a criminal? What about when you threatened to dox her family? People are allowed to ask for clarification. We are within our rights to say, hey, thank you for saying this, that you're sorry about this one thing, but what about these other things? Are you, do you think those things are fine? Do you let those things stand? The way that the world works is that unless you absolutely deny what you said, we, as far as we're concerned, those things still stand, right? That's, you have to be careful with your words for that exact reason. In addition to that, there are other things that she has 
done that also cast a very negative light on Chantal, right? Like that she has to date, as far as I know, never addressed. So like um, supporting Citrine Dreams, who by the way, called Callie from Life of a Free Spirit a minstrel show. You don't know what that is, I highly recommend looking it up. So that's a horrible thing to have said. And on, you know, just approving awful comments in her comment section too. She's approved racist or semi-racist comments. And Chantal goes through every single comment that she gets and manually approves them, right? But she's approved comments that are racially insensitive, that are racially charged, that contain microaggressions. And then, you know, has gone back and said, well, I didn't read the whole thing through. How come? How come you didn't read the whole thing through? You read enough to understand they were supporting you, but then the parts where they were being uh, racist and problematic towards uh, a person of color, you somehow missed that part? Okay. Once more, people don't, they don't have to forgive you. Now I wrote up this whole thing, I made notes on it, and then right towards the end, I checked my phone, I realized she'd actually made an apology video. So I went through and I watched that and I have some thoughts. Um, first thing is, her video is titled Sincere Apology, but it's also a mukbang, which makes me feel like automatically it's not a sincere apology. Because <laughs> a lot of people are gonna tune in to watch the mukbang, and a lot of people are gonna tune in uh, just for the apology aspect of it, right? And then on top of that, the video I think is like 12 minutes long, but the apology to uh, Charlie Gold is only like four minutes. That seems really weird to me because I know that um, you can uh, put more ads on a video if they're longer than 10 minutes. So the fact that she made it purposefully longer than 10 minutes so she could monetize it makes me feel like her apology is less genuine. On top of that, the fact that it was a mukbang kind of feels like she's poking fun at Charlie Gold. Charlie Gold has said repetitively she has a problem with the fact that Chantal, a woman who has an eating disorder, does mukbangs. So the very concept of that seems less than genuine. Um, <laughs> once more, she still didn't apologize in the video for uh, threatening Charlie Gold, for threatening to dox her family, for copyright striking her video. She didn't do any of that. She still, that was not that. The only thing she addressed was the fact that she called her Charlie Cole and not Charlie Gold, something that she's addressed I think like four times now and then after every apology I said I'm never addressing it again. Um, and then she heavily moderates all of her comments but I noticed that in this one she didn't moderate her comments, right? So all of the awful things that people were saying about Charlie Gold, about how you know it's fine for her for, for you know what she said she said and how you know she shouldn't have to apologize and in fact Charlie should be the one to apologize, all of that she left standing. And I think the reason that she's done that is because she wants the ass pats from, the, from her fans of people saying, well, you didn't need to do that so that she can look like the bigger person because now she's both apologized and she has the validation from her fans who are saying, hey, you don't need to apologize. Um, that looks really bad. You need to go through and either comment on the people who are writing this and saying, thanks, but I really disagree with you or delete the comments altogether. And the fact that she's not doing that makes her apology seem a little bit more problematic in my opinion. Um, and then uh, they also addressed transphobia in this video, which was a little weird because it felt very like forced together because you're addressing your behavior and then like news, right? Now, the story that they're talking about, about the, um, the female athlete who's forced to, uh, I think, take medication to regulate her testosterone levels is an important one. And I think it is transphobic and it should be talked about. Um, but this was not the video. <laughs> but what I will say is that Pete seemed very woke. Uh, I hope it's a real woke. I genuinely do. He seems sincere. He's often been like mad about stuff like this before. So I think it's legitimate, but you know, that's good. But this was not the video. This video did not need the inclusion of that story. It did not need the inclusion of transphobic uh, issues that are happening right now in the world. I think this one video should have been focused purely on Charlie Gold and Chantel and what she said and what she shouldn't have said, honestly. I, I think that's all the video needed to be. For, even for the transphobic stuff though, Chantel did not seem to have a lot of insights 
Pete's did. He seemed to have a lot of insights. He seems to have a lot of opinion on it. Opinions on it. He seemed a little bit well versed in this stuff. And uh, anytime he would say something, Chantel would just piggyback onto that, jump in and be like, and this too, right? Or restate what he had just said. I don't think she really has any particular insight into this. I don't think she has any strong opinions on it one way or the other. And it didn't seem like she was very well educated in this topic. So having that in there actually made her look worse, in my own personal opinion. I think it would have been better if she had just not said anything, and it would have been better if they had not included that part of the video at all and just stuck to what the current problems she's facing are, which are what she said about Charlie Gold and how people are taking it. Anyway, all in all, what I want to say is I think think Chantal can do better. I don't think she should make another apology. I think at this point it would be beating a dead horse, but I do think she should go back in and edit her comments. I think she should uh, remove the strike from Charlie Gold's channel. I don't think she should do that. If she thinks something is bullying, she is well within her rights to try and talk to YouTube about that. But on the grounds of copyright, I don't think that she should do that anymore. I think it's a misuse of the system and people very strenuously hate people who abuse the copyright system on YouTube. And I think the only real thing that Chantal can do moving forward is not do this again in the future. That is the biggest takeaway that she should have is to be careful about what she says. I said it in the last video, I'll say it again for this one. Chantel is within her right to respond to anybody she chooses. She is within her right to be upset about anything anyone has said. What she cannot do is say something in the heat of the moment, think back on it, realize that that could be racist or have racist connotations, and then either double down, well, in this case, she did double down, then think about it and then apologize. Just think about it before you post something. And if you are incapable of that, once more, I really, really recommend you talk to a therapist because living your life like that sounds stressful. <laughs> Quite frankly, it just sounds incredibly stressful. So that is it for me. Once more, I am Jasmine, the sequel, and I am not relatable. Peace.